Hi, you're here with TNT Drama Unfiltered on Perception. I was 18, I was working at a dinner theater. I was a bus boy. One night I overheard the, 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 the owners of the theater saying, we're worried about uh, Stephen. He's looking not, not well and, and we don't have understudies. And I literally stepped up, like right out of the play and said, I know the play, I know it, I know it, I know, I know the songs. And they said, oh honey, that's, that's very sweet. We're, we'll be all right. And the next day I'm at high, in, in high school and I get a call at the office, uh, Eric would come back to the office please, and it's them saying, were you serious? And I said, yes, I'm serious. And I went on that night. The rest of the cast who loved me as their busboy, not really sure they wanted to co-star opposite me with no rehearsal, but it went great, and uh, that's that was my one big break. I was Kool-Aid. I was the giant jug of Kool-Aid. Um, myself and another guy uh, would we'd take turns being inside the jug, and the other would lead the, the jug guy around. I would just be at the, I couldn't see anything, and I'm inside this giant red jug. <laughs> it was really awesome. Will and Will and Grace was in me for a long time, but now I love being this guy. I think I think Pierce might overtake. One of the fun things about a role like Pierce is that he's so much smarter than me, and and that's what that's why acting is fun. Just saying, you heard it here first. I know I'm going to blow it, but it's the greatest line I think that I've had so far as Pierce. I'm going to see, I'm going to see if I can remember it here. Did he explain that perception is an inherently limited process and the attentional demands placed on the cognitive resources that allow for perception, the, the less capacity the brain has to, to notice non-target stimuli in the environment? That's a Daniel Pierce line. Isn't that great? <laughs> and I shot that two weeks ago. That's still in my brain.